I'm okay. gonna do some InDesign stuff. I don't have any pretty pictures, just text. That's okay, we like text. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Go. All right, so I am going to show you how to harness the power of grep and scripts if you hadn't heard me talk enough about them while I've been speaking all this week. So I have this text that's here. I have over 500 of these documents. They are full of uh, footnotes. Come down here, I've got footnotes, and uh, I'm sorry, endnotes, so I've got these references, and the endnotes are all at the end of the document, somewhere up here. I have 232 of them in this particular document, 500 plus of these documents. All of this was typed by hand. Those footnotes and endnotes have actually no correlation to each other. They were done by hand in Word or somewhere along the way or on a typewriter, <laughs> I don't know. So what I need to do is I need to make those footnote references active and I also want to make them into footnotes but then I'm gonna do something else with another script and we're gonna just keep bringing it from, on from there. First thing I need to do is I need to tell it how those footnotes are actual, I need to make them into actual footnotes. So I'm going to use the power of grep for that and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use a pre-baked one that's here. If I can find it, see I should have had this ready to go. Find footnote references. I'm basically finding a one, two or three digit number inside of parentheses and I'm gonna get rid of the parentheses and return that just the number and I'm gonna go ahead and assign a character style that I already have set up called refs. So it's just character style. I'm gonna go ahead and say change all. And 233 replacements were made. Now we've got that footnote. My, but what I need to do is I need to take those end notes and I really wanna make them into footnotes. So now I'm gonna use a script by the lovely Peter Carl, who's maybe still here. And it's called uh, end notes to footnotes. Gotta remember which direction I'm going. End notes to footnotes, you have to have a character style applied to your uh, footnote references, which I do on one thing I didn't do. See. Under pressure, I need to come here to these endnotes and I need to actually assign a paragraph style to them. So I'm gonna click inside there, hopefully I got them all, otherwise it's not going to work at all. I'm gonna select on those. I have a paragraph style set up already. One minute. Here, yeah, 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 okay. Endnotes, I've got, gone ahead and assigned that style. Now I'm gonna run this script, endnotes to footnotes, tell it which styles I'm using. Hopefully this will go quick enough. It's gonna take 230 <laughs> of those. It's gonna insert the notes, it's going to go ahead and copy those notes over, it's gonna take the ones that are not dynamic, strip those out of there, and now each page will have individual footnotes on there, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's jump to page one, and so now they're all in there as footnotes, no. but wait, sh shut up. I'm gonna run another script that's footnotes to endnotes uh, 2018, which actually moved them all back to endnotes. You think, why didn't I just leave them there in the first place? That's because I wanna export it out to an EPUB so that I have two-way <coughs> cross-references. Boom, there it is, hopefully, let's come in here. The only thing it does is because, uh, for whatever reason, um, my footnotes become really small and they're hard to see. Hopefully you can see them here. I click on two, it jumps to my end notes. I click on that and I jump right back to where I was in my story. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.